Hey everybody, Jim here, coming to you from Tokyo Video Gamers in Akihabara with your daily dose of Japanese gaming goodness. It is the import game of the day, and today's game is Downtown Neketsu Koshinkyoku for the Famicom. This is a 1990 release that was developed and published by Technos Japan, and it is yet another game in the Kunio-kun series, best known for games like River City Ransom and Super Dodgeball, that did not get a release outside of Japan, and it was later ported to the PC Engine CD, and eventually made its way to the Wii Virtual Console in 2007 and the 3DS in 2016 as part of the Kunio-kun Neketsu Complete Famicom Collection. This game has a lot in common with its sequel, released in North America as Crash and the Boys Street Challenge, in that it's a sports action title that has Kunio and his friends from Neketsu High School competing against their rivals from three opposing schools in a series of unsanctioned sporting events. What are these sporting events, you might ask? Well, for starters, you'll be competing in a series of foot races that will take you through various locations on your way to the finish line. And these locations include city streets, rooftops inside of people's homes, swimming through the sewers, running across conveyor belts and factories, and a whole lot more. Of course, with this being a Kunio game, you can attack your opponents at will with either your bare hands or with an assortment of weapons. The other two events are a pole climbing competition where you try to break open a giant ball before somebody yanks you down, and this is a very frantic affair, and of course, a straightforward fist fight with all four competitors trying to be the last man standing by any means necessary. This is a very simple and fun game. It's also very short with there being so few events. It can be finished in about 30 minutes, but it does feature four player competitive play and it is definitely very enjoyable while it lasts. Of course, just like with any game in the series, this one features some very colorful and detailed graphics for an 8-bit game and some of my favorite character designs of all time. Any fan of the series will love the visuals here, and the soundtrack is once again fantastic, the type of quality you'd expect from Technos Japan, so all things considered, this is a great game with awesome visuals and sound and very fun gameplay. If you've got a Famicom collection going, definitely add Downtown Neketsu Koshin Kyoku to your want list because it's all kinds of awesome.